A stress test is a test that a cardiologist or primary care physician may order to assess if, that, if your symptoms may be related to significant blockages in the heart arteries. So what does a stress test in, entail? Well, typically it entails a treadmill where you're going to be attached to EKGs and we have you walk and then jog on a treadmill. We do it in certain increments of uh, increasing the speed and incline. And what we're looking for, if there's any EKG changes or blood pressure changes or symptoms while you exercise. In addition to that, um, in some patients, we do some additional imaging of their heart while we're doing a stress test. So it may entail an echocardiogram or ultrasound of the heart, and we check how the heart squeezes before exercise, and then immediately after exercise, we have you lie down, and we take images again and make sure the heart's squeezing um, the same and normally um, as it should. And if there's areas that are lagging behind, that might suggest that there's a blockage in the heart artery. Another type of imaging tool that we typically use is what we call a nuclear stress test. And it's where we inject a nuclear agent into the heart are into your vein and while you're exercising, it flows into the heart muscle and we see how the heart muscle lights up. We also do that at rest and we compare the two images, rest versus stress. And if an area is not getting adequate blood flow because of a severe blockage, then that area may not light up and that after at stress. And it'll tell us that there might be something going on in that area of the heart muscle. Now, some patients can't exercise due to a variety of reasons. Um, and if that should be the case, we have medications that can sort of simulate what happens to the heart during exercise, and we administer that instead of the exercise portion of, of the stress test. And we include imaging to see what's going on before and after the medication to simulate exercise.